Hey guys, this is Tim with TX Bait Fishing for Recovery. I want to show you, uh, I'm going to show you this deer attraction that I made. Uh, it's, uh, I went to Walmart a little while ago. It's about $9 for the, the attraction. And I spent, uh, I think, 11 on the corn that I'm using. And I'll show you the corn here in a little bit. But I done opened up uh, what I'm going to pour into this uh my mixer jug that I use. Uh, most of the time, I mix this stuff on the back of my truck out in the fields. But today, I, or you know, I'm gonna mix it up and show you guys the secret formula that I have. And I know most of it, everybody already uses, but I have one secret ingredient that I use that gets them every time. They come from miles and miles. But so let's start mixing it up. Okay, this first thing I'm going to use is this powdered sugar. Just plain old powdered sugar. And I use a half a bag. This is a, some I had from the last time I mixed this up. I try not to use a lot of it. But I do use a lot of salt. Just regular old salt. I'm going to use two things of it. mix that up a little bit with that sugar. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put this, this kind of keeps them there eating. Okay, this is, I know this cherry Kool-Aid, I know a lot of people use it anyway, it's for the smell. show you what the, my secret ingredient is. This right here gets them every, I, I promise you, when I started using this is what really changed the, how many deer I got coming in and how fast they come. It's a uh, uh, yellow cake mix. You know, once you open this bag, you'll see because even the scent that uh, it, you know, it smells the house, you know, you can, you know, I know they smell them, I, I, I guarantee they smell it four or five miles away. Okay. I usually mix up two containers at the same time, and today I just, uh, I was just going to mix up one, so. Okay. Now I'm going to get everything kind of cleaned up. Then I'm going to uh, go outside and I'm going to show you guys, uh, I'll show you guys uh, where I put it, and uh, I want to show you all the trails that I've got coming in from the woods here at, you know, at this field. And, and you know, I, I never tell anybody where my fields are, and here's why. I was crappie fishing one time, and I seen a deer that uh, was unbelievable. It was a freak of nature, and I told somebody about it. Well, you know, it wound up on the guy's wall. And, and you know, <laughs> that wasn't a good thing, really, because it was like a 31 point, man, it had point, it was just unreal mass and everything. And it was on federal land, and it was in a swamp. And, uh, and it was actually in North Alabama. And, uh, you know, I never tell anything, of, you know, I don't never tell that we're deer are anymore because of that one reason. You know, uh, I, I'm an ethical hunter, you know, so I'm not one. That, you know, being ethical means a lot to me and integrity and all that. So with that, now I'm going to show you guys. Uh, oh, 
Oh, yes. And I am going to, uh, I know y'all seen this trick. I'm going to take this peanut butter lid and uh, I'm going to screw it off and nail it to the tree and cut the bottom out of here. You know, but I'm going to put it a little higher on the tree to keep the groundhogs and the raccoons and all that out of it. But here's the cone I'm using this time. I'm using this cone and it's got an attractive already built in it. And we're going to see how it works. Uh, I have never used this cone. But uh, we're going to try it. I've been using that apple cone because I'm trying to get the turkey to come in. And uh, because we have a lot of turkey last year and I hadn't seen any this year. And uh, I, I really like watching the turkey because, you know, they're a, a real challenge to get to, you know, to come in on a regular basis. So with that, guys, if you don't mind, hit that like, subscribe, and notification. And uh, we're going to come back next Sunday and I'm going to make a video or actually I'm fixing to go outside and you'll see it, but I'm going to uh, make another video next Sunday of what we've had come in all week long. So with that guys, I'll be back in a minute and I'll catch you on the outside. Okay guys, this is where the wood line that I'm putting this uh, tractor out. Okay, this pile right here has been there a week, and look, they have tore it up. And the red on the corn is from the cherry Kool-Aid. And you can see, they got, I got a bunch of tray where they come, look, they're coming in and tromping. Okay, this one right here I put out a couple of days later. And uh, this morning I had a uh, probably about eight or ten on this pile of the tractor right here. So, uh, you know, I know it's working. And I can't believe they're, the one I put up closer to the, you know, from the out of the woods is the one they're eating the most of. And I'm trying to figure that part out of it out yet, but uh, I will for it's over with. Hey guys, we're out here in the backyard now. Just got through, you seen where we, I mixed the, the attraction up. Okay, this week we're gonna try different uh, corn. I got this double duty corn. It's supposed to have an attractive with it. Oh. Uh, I've been using apple flavored corn because uh, I had a lot of turkey last year and, and I don't have no turkey at all this year. So, you know, I've tried to, uh, to get some turkey to come in. But I wanted to talk to you before I put this tractor out. You guys seen uh, what I put out last Sunday and uh, man, they destroyed it. And this, this little field right here is I've never seen deer in it before. And I've, I've had uh, several trail cams and, you know, I'm pretty good about seeing them. But, uh, you, you know, we're going to do an experiment with this, uh, with this combination of my uh, attractant and this uh, double duty corn. Uh, so with that, if you don't mind, Hit that like, subscribe, and notification. And we're going to be back next Sunday evening. And we're going to see what we've caught on the trail cams. And uh, we're going to check out, uh, you know, how good this done. So hang on just a minute. I'm going to go back here and uh, I'm going to try to move that camera so you guys can see this pile that I'm pouring it up. I'm going to put this on it and then I'm going to put the corn on it later.
Okay, now I'm going to talk to you about the, why I spread it out the way I did on top of that corn. I noticed that they ate the attractant and left the corn the first couple of days. And uh, so I'm going to put that attractant on top to try to get the smell. You know, uh, I, I live in the middle of town, and you know, I've got 135 deer. I got a field about two miles from here. That I got 135 deer coming up in, and you know, and if I I'm gonna get uh, see what I can get with this, you know, with these uh, with this attraction here. I, I'm just experimenting with it, but I'm gonna tell you guys this attraction that I use that I mix up, man, that uh, yellow cake mix. They love it. I'm telling you now. And the reason I think they love it is they can smell it so, so far off. You know, uh, if you when you open it, you'll see what, how uh, the smell is. Because, I mean, it's got a real smell that even, you know, a human can smell. So, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, come back next Sunday and check out the video. And we're going to see what we caught on film this week. You know, I've caught a bunch of bucks over here at this other uh, other field of mine that I've done this just a few weeks ago. So I'm going to have two experiments going at one time. So uh, we're going to just see what we can do. So with that, guys, I'm going to let you go, and you guys have a good week, and God bless you. And remember, God has no limits, and I hope you get a big one this week, and we'll catch you on the next one.